so here's our hay hut. We've used those slow feeding hay nets in here for our round bales. They get destroyed. We piece them together. We use carabiners. We end up with 100 carabiners in it. I think the holes are a little too small. So Carl devised this. He bought, and I'll show you a picture of it, a cargo net, right, for the back of your truck. Here it is. So this is what we bought. We're going to give this hey, a try. Uh, they're not a sponsor, but we got it at our local Harbor Freight for $15. So instead of $300 for the hay nets that we've gotten chewed up, this is our little uh, affordable experimentation. And that's what it is. It's an experiment, and we'll keep you all posted. So Carl went, he drilled holes all along the parameter perimeter i always get those two mixed up right. the perimeter of the hay hut and he made these little bailing twine connections right mm -hmm. and later on today we're going to go pick up a round bale and we're going to see if our theory is it a theory yet or is it a hypothesis i don't know you'd have to check it's with an brett. un check with check with brett weinstein we got to check with brett weinstein and see if uh See if our hypothesis is correct. And I'll flip this up so you can get a shot of what So it like Carl's going to flip this over. You're going to see what this looks like from underneath. See? So this is what we did. Now we'll come home with the round bale and hopefully set it down here. Right, Luna? Luna goes, I'm all for it. If anybody's going to destroy it, I'll help you do it. And then and then we're going to have an add-on to this uh, video and let you know if it actually worked we're hoping it does because you know what 15 bucks versus two or three hundred dollars for the slow feeding hay nets i'll take it luna's luna's already figuring it out she's like oh let me see let me see how i'm supposed to take it apart the last round bale we got um lasted about four days with four horses so it was about 700 pounds of hay approximately in four days so it seemed a little excessive not like they would walk away from an all-you-can-eat well, buffet but does so, she look like she ever walks away from an all-you-can-eat no, buffet? Nobody, nobody, nobody hears. Nobody hears skinny. All right. So I'm going to sign off for now. And uh, once we get the hay net later, we'll, uh, we'll tape again so you can see just how it goes together. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, we're filming. And we're live at the Achanan Oak Farm again with part two of Now the Round Bill is ready for the hay hut. Go Carl. This is it. Here we go. And you'll see the hay net is attached to the bottom of the hay hut. Okay, and here we go. And there it is. And there you have it. And this has allowed us to save on hay waste and um and labor and it's gotten us an extra day one extra day and we'll take it because hey 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 the less we gotta move it and bring hay out the better so this is awesome awesome okay signing off from the enchanted oak farm if you like what you see we have more Hacks coming up, farm hacks from the Enchanted Oak Farm with Crazy Carl and just a, and Kimber. And look at just Carl. A, just an update. There's two lenses in the eyeglasses. Now my readers, um, thanks to Dr. Dean and the folks at Northeast uh, Eye Care um, in Putnam. Uh, last Wednesday, I had the cataract in my left eye taken out. Yay! Or cleaned up, taken out, whatever the process is. But You got a new lens. I got a new lens, yeah. Yay, so. and he can see again, which is wonderful. Maybe we won't try... <laughs> Chopping thumbs off by accident. Oh, yeah, that was that icky. Whether I see or don't see. Uh, let's hope so. Okay, folks, thank you. Okay, you're on. Uh, you want to shoot from that angle? But the sun's over okay. there, so that there was. Um, hi, folks. Welcome again to the Enchanted Oak and the Hay Hut experiment. Um, so that bale, we got five days out of it before I came out here. It was probably about. Three quarters of a bale left, but there was a lot of stocks in it. So, three I, quarters of a bale. Three quarters of a square bale. Sorry. Oh, a square bale. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for got to clarify clar that. Clarifying that. <laughs> approximately, um, and I just kicked it out, tipped it over to see how the the netting had fared. Um, a couple of places where it's gotten the 
it got chewed on a little bit, but no breaks. And uh, so we got five days out of out of the round bale. And last time we got four. Last time we got four. And, and they wasted a lot. We pulled it out. So we had like no mess outside of the uh, hay hut. What you see out here now is what I kicked out from them the other day. This um, is the the our horses are spoiled. They don't like it if it's too stocky. So they eat all the good stuff and. Uh, and there you have it. So now we're going to roll, roll off a, another bail in and uh, move it on. All right. I'm going to back up so. and film you taking the round bale off the trailer. It's a one man job pretty much because uh, usually I'm a lot of times I'm in the house doing housework. You always have to have some help by the kids. So we're just, if you want to stick around to just see how this gets put into the hay hut with the hay nut, the hay net is, is already attached to the hay hut, the bottom of the hay hut. So basically what he's doing is he's going to roll this round bale off, set it, cut the strings off the round bale, and then all he has to do is push the hay hut right over the round bale with the hay net it'll just fit tightly snugly right over the round bale it's pretty cool all right i'm going to I, they don't need to see 